close. How come you got the jelly beans? Like, I, these are my fucking jelly beans. Just start the fucking thing. Just give me a cup. Is that a cucumber? A red ones. I went to Blackwoods. In honor of Stoop Dog. Fine. Yeah. Black jelly beans? Yeah, I like black jelly beans. I like black jelly beans too. I like Stoop Dog. Okay, beans. welcome to this. Is this it? All right, this is the Official Trailer Perk Void podcast coming at you right now. Number 47. We're in Hollywood. Number what? 47. No, it isn't. No, it's 37. 37? Episode 37. 37. We are in fucking Hollywood. At are Hollywood. You sure, are you sure, Bob? What do you mean, Ricky? Am I sure? Yeah, no, here we are. You can tell if you look back there. Where else would we fucking be right now, Rick? Right. We're in Hollywood. Ricky, We're you here. gotta look back at the sign to know where you're at. I was just showing off a little bit, you know what I mean? And guys, I just wanna say, you know, that. Just a, the, Tom, just a second. Yeah. No. This is brought to you by Jacasa. Fuck off. Julian? Thank you. Is just that a real thing? Just say Jacasa. Just give it over. How much is do you have to put on you before you get high? It's no, a cream it's, smoother, right? It's, it's not. It's like vapor pen. You don't get hard from that shit. Okay. There's like different flavors. He's just it. trying to trick you into promoting <laughs> it, just <laughs> so you know. These flavors of chocolate. There's vanilla. Yeah. When am I getting paid for any of this? It's coming. The money train is coming in eventually. It'll but what is it? It's a vapor pen. He doesn't. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's cool. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Well, I don't have it. makeup on. Usually, now listen. I don't care about not having makeup. But yesterday. Or Sud, when Sud was Easter, you guys. So anyway, I'm Jewish, but celebrate Easter. And uh, you know Robbie Williams? You guys I mean, in Canada, have you heard yeah. of that guy? Yeah, he's singer. a great singer. Robbie singer. Williams, yeah. singer. And so he had this great, he and his wife, Ada, they have this nice uh, Easter egg hunt. And we go over there and our kid's great. We've been neighbors a long time. He's a really nice guy. And as I'm leaving, he looks in my face this far away and goes, oh yeah, I've had rosacea too. You should quit drinking Diet Coke and whatever. Like, he's that close away. So I went home and immediately put, like, stuff. And then I forgot to put it on today. But then his wife at Pilates told my wife today that Rod Stewart was on an interview a month ago and said he was fat, that Robbie was fat. So he went on a four-week fast. So it affects everybody. When people say stuff about you guys because they've yeah. seen you on TV, I'm sure it affects the way you dress or... No, we no, don't. Man, I, guess it, I guess it doesn't. Hollywood is... It's a fucked up place here. Like, yeah, it's, let me tell you something. You're this Hollywood boy. This is the fucking one of the worst places. No offense. Nobody's going to see this. It's just driving down here. It's like, you know, Sunnyvale, if you had 10,000 people roaming around, that's exactly what it's like. Look at the I people. Saw, can I tell you what I saw down there? I am not joking. Yeah. I was walking right there, Hollywood and Vine. Yeah. And there was people waiting for the bus. And this guy walked up. He came around the corner and walked up to wait for the bus. All he was wearing was a t-shirt. He was naked from the waist down. And I am not joking. He had a spoon hanging out of his arse. What? He had a fucking spoon up his arse. Like a big spoon or a... Like, like a, a metal spoon. The handle like of a big, spoon. Oh, big, a serving spoon. Yeah, well, did like you a put spoon. It, did you put it up there, Bubs? <laughs> no, I just... I mean, you know, you can't help but look. You see something. Did you just grab a hold of it and... No, I didn't tug on grab it. People just walk by because that happens all the time. There are so many people who are like, oh, I can't wait to come out to L.A. and go to Hollywood Boulevard. And then they go there and they're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> this is like what happens if there's a nuclear like, fucking... Like uh, zombies. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you take a picture with it, you, you got to give them a dollar. Yeah. I mean, no, that's common courtesy. So, Bob, how long did you, like, spend the whole day staring at this guy with the, the spoon? No, I charge? just saw him for a second. Did you try to take the spoon out of his head? No, I didn't to touch him? it. I just was standing there and something just was sniffling? glittering in the sun. Clank, clank, and you're trying not to look, and then you're like, Jesus, Murphy. And then you what said, time was this? It was around 11 a.m. Why? Well, I'm just, because you borrowed a spoon from me last night. I was wondering <laughs> if it was before that or after that. I didn't borrow a fucking spoon off you, Ricky. You're well, just so trying you to make the... spoons up people's asses in Hollywood? You no, to... I did not put the... I'm not telling any more stories if you guys are going to tease me. I have a story in the 80s, and it, this before it was politically incorrect. There was a, uh, <laughs> there I like was a this woman is I worked going. with that had a wedgie, like a serious wedgie. So I pulled it out, and she slapped me. So I put it back in. <laughs> and I said, okay, let's start over. But, so, you know, you learn it. You learn it. Dude, that's not appropriate. Was it, it was a front like or a cam- back? Like a camel? It was, was, well, it, a camel? it was my boss. It was, okay. it was, was a, a camel toe? It was not a camel toe. Okay. So it was a rear wedgie. It was like a rear wedgie. Back door wedgie. It was, it was a, cr- it, you know, it, 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 you so know. you just reached down and... Yeah, I just was like, hey, let me help you out here. And she's like, boom. And I'm like, I'm, fuck, I'm sorry. So and I went back in. Back up. Yeah. Hard. That's, that's being a gentleman. Yeah, it is being a gentleman. You put it right back. Right. 
Maybe she liked it. Maybe that was her thing. Put it back to where it was. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here, I'm going to ask you this. What's the most fucked up thing you've ever seen in this town, do you think? The most fucked up thing I've ever seen in this town. Because I know you've... You know, you, you're you not drinking anymore. No, I did. I, I've been in, you know, in the original Spago the, in the day when I was drinking. And you can look this up on the internet. You were a heavy drinker, Here's right? the deal. I was a very heavy drinker. I was a very heavy drinker. You know, unlike you guys. <laughs> very heavy drinker. Yeah, yourself, man. And uh, we came out of there, and these, uh, me and my, my ex-wife and I, our car got surrounded by these paparazzi. And these two rednecks came up and said, hey, we'll beat the shit out of them for you. And so... She's like, okay, and, I, and she said, give him fifty bucks. So I had him. They got a picture of me handing these guys fifty bucks. Yeah, and then they just start pummeling the pop. Like, and I had the other car saving the paparazzi's life, and yet I'm the one that got arrested. That's fine. Does that make any sense That's at all? Like, well, you paid them. But I'm laughing. You see her laughing in the car, like, yeah, we paid them. And they sued us because they said they couldn't have sex anymore. The paparazzi. Is that what they said? What yeah, you, they always say that. Them in the the way, them in the whether you fight them at the airport or wherever you fight them, they'll always say. I'm so scared I can't have sex anymore. But now that I'm older, I don't do that. I see the same faces out there, and I'm nice. So how much did they get from you? They were, probably, I think they each got 150 grand. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Also Those fuckers. Day, you no. Know? Jesus, have you been, how many times have you been sued ever? In the day, many times. Really? What, yeah. what was the grand total you think you've... Well, here's the thing. In, 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 at the end of my first marriage, there was uh, several pending lawsuits. We could have won, <laughs> but my ex-wife said, listen to the our mutual lawyer. So for every $100 I spend, uh, it'll cost him a dollar. Even if it costs him a dollar, fuck him. The, what we're giving, we're, uh, well, I'll, I'll spend millions just to bankrupt just that to asshole. Fuck you over. Yeah. yeah. She's great. <laughs> I'm glad things are good. Yeah, now. things are good. Things are good. Yeah, they are good. Jesus, Murphy. they are good. Murphy. But I'll say this: I found out uh, my wife watches uh, Netflix because uh, otherwise I may have conducted myself a little differently with Ricky's. Oh, you mean you when know, you tried to bang Lucy? Right. Right. Well, I right. do want to thank you for. I, I saw the stuff and I was pretty happy that you didn't go through with it, even right. though you could have. I guess you did pay. It for was it, a but dream, but it was a dream. You. It was a dream, but you know. And now that unfortunately you were apparently alive, that was Plan B. You know, because so if, I had you, to... if you were dead, it would be so much. You know, I feel so much better about it. Would it. Well, oh yeah, of course. Jesus. Okay. Well. <laughs> but when you down. if you were dead, wouldn't you want me to? Listen, when I die, I want I my guess. wife to go. You know, go on and you know whatever. No, I guess if she was going to bang anyone's better than yeah. You'd be a pretty good option, I guess. Better than her banging Randy. <laughs> yes. George you don't want to bag George Cyrus. Yeah, no. Cyrus. And here's the thing: you're in Hollywood. You're on Hollywood Boulevard. When you leave here, you will walk down there. There's about a seventy percent chance you will be dead. So if you want me to give you ten grand now, <laughs> Jesus, really? <laughs> I'm going to give it to him. We'll see how much makes it down the table. We'll get a cut. Seventy percent chance of not making it. Well, there's a seventy percent chance I have at an incident. I will say that for sure. Wow. I'll walk with you. Uh, I'll show you what happens. Yeah, all right. People are very nice, but they're very, you know, fucked. Yeah, they're very fucked. Yeah. So, does, but are you starting shit with them, or is it just? No, the, I don't. I'm very no, nice. Right. I put my freaking head down and just keep moving, and you know, they're they're but they're, they're they're nice. But it's the weirdos that are dressed up like Superman and whatever. Because let me tell you something. They're out there all day. They don't have. They don't go to the bathroom. They go to the bathroom from their pants. And they're on crack. And they're on crack. they got to be on crack. It's part of the job requirement. I mean, how else are you going to do that? So if you ever get a fight with one of those guys, you're going to get their bodily functions on you. They'll fight you to the death. Yeah. They they will piss on you. Yeah. I did. Uh, I saw saw SpongeBob down there. Yeah. And he he pulled his arms into a SpongeBob thing. And then you could hear him, like, sniffing inside the suit. (laughs) I think he was doing rails inside the fucking SpongeBob suit. (laughs) And then you see his arms come Superman. back in. I was doing rails. He's probably jacking in that thing. He's doing everything, man. Yeah. He's doing it there all day. I had to. I had to fight Superman. I was like, well, I thought it might be the real one, and just to be able to say I beat the fuck out of Superman was cool. But it wasn't what do you even mean a fight. The real one, Ricky. Well, there is a real one somewhere, <laughs> and I thought this was him, so I fucking clocked him and he fought me back a little bit and I Superman knocked him out. There. He, the, he weighs 110 pounds. Yeah, he wasn't very big. He's, he was small. He's been there a long time. He's addicted to crack. <laughs> he's not a Superman. Guy. And he was a black guy, wasn't he? <laughs> black <laughs> Superman? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I think it was. 
Oh, fuck, can I ask you this? You used to hang out with Chris Farley. Yeah, I love Chris Farley. He was best I love Chris writings. Farley. That's if there's one person yeah. I wish I could have met. Yeah. I wish I could have met Chris Farley. Was he awesome to just hang with? Yeah, he, yes, yes, yeah. He was very, uh, you know, there was this, he was very sweet, but he was very, when he turned it on, he, he turned it on like he was, he was high intensity, was he? He's high intensity. And then, you know, I could be that way, but he, uh, you know, like if we walked out the street here, he'd be like, Oh, I don't want to do this because I don't want people to recognize me. As soon as somebody recognized me, he'd be like, what's going on? Like he, he always pretended he didn't want to be recognized. <laughs> but then he did his thing. and uh, That sounded like a dude. Yeah. That sounded like he's a, a dude. He's a, good, he's a good guy. What's the, can you tell me some kind of a crazy story that maybe nobody's ever heard about him when you guys used to get cranked well, up? Well, let me, let me tell you something. There, this is my favorite Chris Marley story. So yes. after, after he... Uh, you know, I got a call one day, and I quit drinking a couple, two years before, and I get a call. First of all, I saw an impression that he did on uh, me, uh, uh, and Victoria Jackson was Roseanne on Saturday Night Live. It was very funny, and we were going out there to host, and Lord Michael said, please spend time with Chris. I think you have a lot in common with him, meaning, you know, maybe he could have a mentor with his party. So... Part of a, when you quit drinking, you have to make amends to people you've screwed over, right? Yeah. And so there was some people that Chris had done horrible things to uh, <laughs> in college. And so he went to their house. It's beautiful. They were very wealthy now. In beautiful suburban Chicago. They had a big party for him, like a, a nice buffet and everything. Yeah. And everything was great. And he made amends to him. And they were like, we respect you. We forgive you. And in the middle of the party, a dog walked out onto the grass, a giant dog, and got his haunches and took a shit. And everybody was like laughing about it, and Farty must have got the idea. He left, the, he ran behind. Next thing you know, Farty comes out in front of people completely naked and takes his shit. No, he didn't. I swear on my fucking life, in front of all these people he'd made amends to, and they were like, get the fuck out of here, you're the worst. You know, so he ruined the old your inside. outside. Okay, was he all banged up on something at that, this point, or was he just I don't think he was. Like, that the hard he part shit on their lawn? He did have a shit thing, too. I'm telling you, man, the people in Second City, so listen, Hitler. listen. But, like, yeah, exactly. But listen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, but that's the only parallel between the two. Okay. They're shit. But, you know, at his, at his wake, it was, it was kind of sad. I, mean, I, I hosted a thing at Planet Hollywood, of course. And it, I said to his brothers, we got to tell some real stories, get people laughing, because that's what it's So every story had to do with shit. Like, people that worked with him in Second City were like, you know, they had a buffet after, after the shows in Second City. And uh, they were scooping out their their meat or whatever, and they noticed some toilet paper in there. Jesus Christ! And they look over at Chris. I mean, he had a he had a thing, and he loved being naked, which I respect <laughs> for a fat guy. Like he was. Everybody has seen him. So, so like naked. Randy, he likes to be naked. Yeah, no, yeah, but I can't completely get that. He walked out onto their lawn in front of everybody. Yeah, he chance. got his hunch, just like the dog did. His wife. This is going to be hilarious. They loved it when the dog did it. Imagine how what they're going to think when I do it. Human yeah, like, and then they fucking like, threw him in a cab, and it was just a. Oh my god! But that, that there's a there's a few things like he means well. Ah, oh, see, well, I would have laughed my head off. Yeah, well, that would, that would be funny. Yeah, of course. I would. Brilliant. I mean, Ricky's done that. <laughs> I well, once. When was the last time you took a shit on somebody's lawn besides your own? Christmas, nineteen eighty nine. No, Ricky. Shit on Lee's curb back in. That was in the 90s. Yeah, I forgot about that one, actually. Rick, you shit on Lady's lawn last year. If I did, I don't remember it. I blocked out. But yeah, that could be an emergency shit. I thought mean, there's intentional shits where it's like, I'm going to prove a point, I'm going to make a statement. And then there's like, oh fuck, I have to shit right now. This is going to be this funny. Is, yeah. That's Decent. Pretty fucked up. Decent, boys. This is awesome here. It'd be funny if you, cheers hung, me. If you hung out with someone. Give me a cheers, boys. It's, it's fucking cheers, awesome man. to be here in Hollywood. It is. Doing Hollywood stuff. Who's the coolest, like, who's the coolest celebrity in Hollywood that you know that you think is like, fuck, he's cool? Well, you know, I, my first year uh, in 1988 uh, on the Roseanne Show, George Clooney was also on the show. And he's one of the, he is, like, amazing guy. And every time I see him, you know, I'll see him at Kibbles or I'll see him somewhere, he comes up with his wife or his girlfriend, whoever, you know, and he's like, oh my God, this is Tom. We started their careers together. He's been such a good friend. And I think, yeah, but your career went way the fuck. But you know, that's a, in Hollywood, you're only as good as your last job. 
So I never get jealous of people because I'm like, oh, they're, you have to eat a shit no matter what. It's just you eat more shit at certain jobs and a little bit less shit. But if you get used to eating shit, this is a good place to work. He talks, <laughs> he talks about shit like Leahy does. It's kind of yeah. he, a lot of shit talk here. Yeah. So George Clooney is not yeah. only smashingly good looking, he also he's, cool he's a great guy. guy. Jack Nicholson. Smash oh, you know. know Jack Nicholson? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes here, here's the Jack Nicholson story. He, he uh, uh, back in the day, I had a show called the Jackie Thomas Show, which is which was actually a good TV show. We were we shot next to Seinfeld on the same lot, and I had a parking spot, and people kept parking in my parking spot. So one day I came to work, and this is a famous story because they made a joke about it at the Oscars, and there was a car in my parking spot. So I wrote a, a nasty note like, "Are you fucking blind?" This is my fucking good spot, and put it on the car. <laughs> and then we're we're in there shooting, and the security guard comes in, and goes, "We found you, found, you parked in your spot." Uh, and I go, "Okay, good. It's Julia Louis Dreyfus from Seinfeld." No. I go, "Oh," but he goes, "She wants to talk to you." I go, "Oh, that's fine." So I go out there and I go, "Hey, don't worry about it. No big deal." I thought she's apologizing. She goes, "I am worried about it. I'm offended by your note." I go, "Really? You're offended by my fucking note, and you parked in my fucking spot?" <laughs> Anyway, so I called down the Roseanne set is down <laughs> about a block there. I tell Roseanne what happened. She takes a picture of John Goodman's naked ass, a Polaroid, has a limousine driver of one block, comes up, puts that on Julia Louis Dreyfus's car, and writes Julia Louis Dry Puss in in soap. And it became a big problem Jesus because then of course Christ. that's a problem. Yeah. And then Jason and Alexander standing out there, like I'm like, what the fuck are you gonna do? <laughs> You know, so, but, you know, and Seinfeld was no part of this because he's a peace to me. Yeah. Anyway, so, you know, it, it's, it's funny to me. So I had, I took, I asked that, uh, this is, I got sued by one guy for this. I asked my assistant to take pictures of everybody's ass that worked on the crew. So I had 100 pictures of asses so I could put them on everybody's car and then park in my spot. One guy did sue me, that fucking asshole. Anyway, and so I was at the People's Choice Awards and Jack Nicholson came up and he's like, hey, you know, this thing with Julia Louis Dreyfus? Is that supposed to be a joke? I go, yeah, yeah, it's a joke. He goes, you better start making it funny. And that's when I realized she's beloved. Oh yeah. And but by the way, I love her fucking show. I, if I didn't, if I only watch shows of people that like me, I wouldn't watch hardly any TV. I her show Veep is amazing, and she's, she's oh, amazing. Wow. She's I was telling great. this same story recently at a party, and and the guys with me are like. I go, why? And you go, she's standing right behind you with her husband. I'm like, oh, fuck. Now she double hates me because now I'm re... You know, but she also have nothing to do with me. But, uh, you know... You that should have shit on her car. That, that would have yeah, been a, a good way. would have done that. Take would that. he finally would have done, done that? that for me. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. My we God. A lot of so was Jack Nicholson pissed off? Or is he... Well, he was like a, being a, a, one of the... He was giving me advice. Right. Because everybody respects him. Like, right. yeah. hey, hey, make it funny. But, you know, I saw him many times after that, and he was always nice. I'm always, you know, th there's been people that I've met that I, since I've been out here, like, oh, my God, I can't believe. You know, and then I did a sports show, and, I, you know, I'm sitting between, I don't know if these days mean anything to you, but Willie Mays and Ernie Banks one day, and I'm like, Jesus how Christ. is this happening? You know, Will and all the great it. hockey players that I've got to know. And so speaking of shit, here's a great story. Jeff Cortnall, who's a good <laughs> friend of mine, he and Sarah McLaughlin and him are a couple now. And uh, uh, we know Jeff. We know yeah. Jeff yeah. and Russ. Jeff is called nickname was Horse because he has a huge dick, and Russ was Pony because he doesn't. Okay. Anyway, just a little inside information. The horse and Pony Brothers. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When you do a charity event with these fucking with hockey guys, it is on. Yeah. So people paid ten thousand dollars. It was Mark Messier's charity fishing event up in Vancouver Island, North Vancouver Island. And uh, by the way, it was won by Mark Messier's sister, who. Looks exactly like Mark Messier, except with long hair, so it might have been actually won by Mark Messier, which whatever, it was 100 her? grand. Did you bang her? Well, yeah, of course, I yeah. banged Mark Messier. Okay. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? I who, love that guy. Who's got bigger tits? <laughs> well, you know who, who finished second was Chelios, because he passed out in the boat and was vomiting, and it drew in some tuna. So they, they got on his hook, and he actually, actually you know, finished second. The only person who wouldn't get in the boat was Isaiah Thomas, because Thomas? I don't think he could swim. I don't, I don't even want to go into any stereotypes, uh, but but uh, uh, Thomas too. He did stay in and hit on the woman at the at the place. I probably shouldn't say that either, but it, it, he, maybe he was just being very nice to her. The woman at the gift shop. Was he anyway, drunk? No, he wasn't. He was the only one that was. was just like horny. everybody was. was just horny. Yeah. So this guy paid ten thousand dollars to be in a boat with us. This is a big time guy, connected with EA Sports up there, 
And this guy got so drunk that he was buggy us. Like at night we were sleeping, he, all of a sudden, look, he's at the end of my bed standing there. Jeff, it, I took his, ripped his shirt off and threw it in the fire. You know, we gave him all kinds of hints to fuck it, to fuck off. Yeah. On the plane back, and then, you know, Bobby Hole is there. Like, There's all these great fucking, on the plane back, the guy is passed out. And so Jeff Cordell takes his gift bag, you get a gift bag, takes his gift bag from under his seat, and goes to the bathroom and takes his shit in it. And brings Jesus it back. Christ. And just as he's sliding it back under the guy's seat, the guy's eyes open and connect with Jeff Cortle's eyes. And he's like, you better not have done anything to my bag. And fuck. Anyway, <laughs> by the time we got to Cortle's car, the guy had dumped his bag of shit all over Cortle's car, which is kind of a hockey thing they do to rookies right. where they shit on the they're handles they're of the car. They're in the shit. They are in the shit. They're in the shit. They're they like shit each other's skates. Markers up their asses. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. They're great, though. The hockey players of all the sports, of all the athletes, are the nicest. It goes, really? Yeah, because I don't because it's the hardest sport. You start young. But it goes, it, it's, it's hockey players, and then uh, baseball players, and football players, and then basketball players. The basketball players, there's five guys. They don't care. They're starting to whatever. Yeah. Hockey players, you know they fucking have, have been out in the cold and fucking worked their asses off and, and have gone yeah, through all like kinds of shit. You're tall. You're playing basketball. Yeah. They, they, they've got it a little yeah. bit easier. But seeing Jeff and Sarah McLaughlin, I mean, we did a benefit together, and it's just great. It's just, and he's all told that in front of her, he's like, he's told, hey, don't tell the story. Oh, he's, he's got yeah. two persons. Yeah, don't yeah, tell yeah, like Don't the, tell it. But, but yeah, she's so cool. She's a so really cool kid. She needs to go to the bathroom and shit yeah, in the bag. Yeah. Basically. I said, is she going to play the sad dog song? And then he told her I said that. that there's a, a song that, yeah, that, that the sad dog. for the SPCA. Yeah, and she did play it. She's I amazing. I think they should have kitties on the she's commercial a, myself. Well, of course. She's awesome. People don't care as much. She's awesome. She's from Canada. Yeah, she's she's, she's, she is actually, actually she's great. Halifax, yeah. She is so great. She's from out, you know, right close to Sunnyvale. She's from Halifax, Canada. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't shit on her windshield. Yeah, I don't like even to? know what that means, Ricky. You know, he said I wouldn't shit on her why windshield. Would, like, why would you even think of that? Is that a metaphor, it's, or what are you talking about? I thought we were talking about shit. Yeah, I got one more Canadian guy story. Let me tell you this. Does it involve shit? It, it, no, no, but it involves okay. Wade Gretzky. All right, okay. Now Gretzky. Gretzky is the greatest guy, and if you do a charity thing with him, after he's had 10 or 15 beers, he will give you literally his shirt off his back. People pay for one of his jerseys, and he just, his sweaters, whatever you call it, he just puts on. Awesome. They'll pay like, no, many thousand, 50,000. Jesus. Like, he's Christ. the best dude, right? Oh my God. He's got a week, uh, he, he, there's a, he's got a weakness for this guy named Kevin Washington, whose dad is apparently a billionaire up there and owns the railroad or something. So this fucking Kevin Washington. We're up there at Microsoft with Bill Gates and Steve Ballmer and, and Gretzky and I have been paid so much money to do this show and, we've, we, and we're being polite to everybody and he invited his friend Kevin Washington who is still alive he invited him because he, he likes him and his wife kind of takes care of him but whatever and I'm sitting next to Steve Ballmer and Bill Gates and Wayne Gretzky oh, and they're wow. saying boy you gentlemen really came through. Because we were also doing a thing for the Ronald McDonald House, by the way. So there's kids there. Kevin Washington comes up and goes, hey, the fucking hookers and drugs are in the fucking hotel room, guys. Let's go. And so then he left. And it's but these two guys, and they just walk away from... And I'm like, dude, that's fucking Gretzky's friend. It's not my friend. <laughs> that happened. That's Jesus awesome. Jesus Christ. You had, to, you had to get him in from Vancouver. It was a long journey. We were in Seattle, of course. And it, apparently it was a it was a... A journey to get the hookers and drugs in from Vancouver, but he did it. All right. If okay. We need, so if we rescue, rescue. We need lots of jerseys. Throw them on. <laughs> make some money and hookers and. If we meet Wayne Gretzky, you're not putting a bunch of jerseys on him to make money. No, Why no. We? Because I won't let you. Get, like, if you get him really beer, drunk, get like, drunk, pass out drunk, and then just put a bunch of them on him without we'd him, make, just take, make pictures, thousands of dollars. take pictures of it though, and pictures, yeah, document. Yeah. Because people can even don't shit want on him. With well, people have people have fake. You know, or Gretzky shit. How much would that be worth? A lot. Like, uh-huh. this is a true story. Johnny Depp was filming a movie, and you know how they come and suck the shit out of the, your trailer? Yeah. So the, People bought that. No, they did Yeah, I swear no, to God, this didn't. is true. Oh, my God. They bought God. it, Who and they the sold it. Who the fuck would buy that? I, there's some weird fucking... So how much? Anybody out there? Just look down there. There's, there's yeah, at least 2,000 people that would have bought Johnny Depp's shit. How much do you make? <laughs> well, that's, that's a good thing. How do you verify? How big is uh, Gretzky's that's, hammer? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's not. Uh, it's fine. Is it? I, I noticed the. Let me tell you the biggest one. Let me tell you something. I did a sports show, 
And I don't believe his stereotypes are bad, but there's one that's true. I did a sports show with a guy named John Sally, and he's a seven foot tall black guy that played many years. He won a bunch of races. He's a very nice guy. And I heard a rumor that he had a big penis for a seven foot tall black guy. Like, if your penis was average yeah, size, yeah, yeah. you know, I lived in Florida, Shaquille O'Neal for eight years. We'll take plays the Lakers. You know, just, if this was average, it was huge. Just like his he had a huge toilet, like a, that mini me guy, uh, Bert Troyer, would have drowned for sure. <laughs> and he, although he'd probably drown in a regular toilet. But no offense, I love him, by the way. He's on the show, uh, uh, whatever. Uh, anyway, so I hear this about John Sally. And by the way, if you work with athletes, they are the nicest people. You say, hey, can I Thank see you. your biceps? They're going, sure. Can I see your penis? They're like, sure. They don't think of it as a sexual thing until Human Resources comes down and you have a, you know, a lot of those problems. Anyway, so first day I film at Best Dance Sports Show, period, I say, hey, John, I heard you had a big penis for a seven-foot-tall black guy. And he's like, yeah, that's true. I go, really? I got to see that fucker, you know? And so he showed it to me, and I swear it had a fucking elbow. Like, it went bent here. It was like an arm. It had a little ashy. I put some of this on there. <laughs> this. Who's the guy that pays you for this? Takasa. Takasa. Is that a, like Try a... Is don't that, encourage him, because he always... Oh, is Takasa Steven Seagal's uh, uh, trainer? Is that a, I don't okay. know, man. Yeah, he, yeah. he might be, but... No, he's not. Just, just Julian. Say whatever you want, man. Anyway, me, John, 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 so he got a big weapon on him. Doesn't yeah, he, he does. It's ninety nine point nine percent of men have the same size penis. So he I showed too. you. Like, yeah, you of course. See it, like, and he took it out. Yeah, and, uh, that was a huge mistake. Was it soft or soft? Yeah. Wow. That's At first. <laughs> no, but I mean that's amazing. You didn't jerk it, did you? No. No. <laughs> no. But let me tell you something. There is a big story in Hollywood right now yes. about this billionaire mm -hmm. uh, who owns. Uh, Viacom, and hopefully nobody will see this. And I, he had these two girlfriends. Well, I know one of them, and he gave them each like a hundred million dollars. And all you know, he's 92 years old. Oh, he's just wild. laying there. All they have to do is make out with each other with their shirts off every night. Why not? Would you go over and just on the tip of his dick for a hundred million dollars? You Ooh. fucking right, I would. I would go over there. I, don't know I, I would. I, I, I would. I, I guarantee I would. For a hundred million dollars? A hundred dollars? dollars? You sign me off October? for a billion. Boys, no, just, just lick it. Just lick it. Just not suck Okay, it. you're basically sucking off a 92 year old I, man. For let me tell you something. I grew up on a farm. I fucking raised horses. How I fluffed. You, when you're getting a You've horse, you're getting a horse? Fuck yes, every farmer has. <laughs> if anybody's raised horses, <laughs> has had to get in there. Because they... Some of them, you're trying to breed them. How long does it take? How they, long do you got to jump? Yeah, those are big. Those are bigger. Like those are bigger than John Sally and fucking dicks there. No, you get in there and you get these soft gloves on there, put a little stuff on there, and you just gotta go. You'll do whatever it takes to make a fucking. What do you do with the load? The load goes like, into the other horse. You're trying to get the other horse pregnant. You're not so you just fuck. jacking it onto your own face. <laughs> no, here. no. That's being a farmer, man. You do, you do the foreplay for the so, horses. So basically. you say to yourself, if I could do that with a horse. Could I do it with a 92-year-old billionaire and for $100 million? Million. The answer is yes. Because I got paid like $4 oh. an hour to do it with a horse. Oh, Tom, you should never lick a man's unit for $100 oh. million. $100 million bucks. What if he took, let me tell million. you this. Talk about an act of service. Think how happy that would have made him. Just like, He's on his last yes. days, and all he wants is for me to lick just the end of his penis. You're damn right I do. I've done other things. I, I like being I would, in service. I, I would do a lot for his ass. Figure his ass. I do that for $4. Four, four bucks. <laughs> but you suck him off. off. Four bucks to figure his ass. $100 million <laughs> is a lot of money. Yeah, it's, a, it's not enough. And don't say get it's sucking it off. It's different. Would you, would you lick the money. back of his hand for yeah, $100 million? Yeah, million? yeah. You pretend no, it's back of his hand. I'm not talking about sucking it off. That's a $10 million dollar job. You're senior citizen. Would you have a bath with him? Guys, yeah. would you have a bath with him for a hundred million? That's his last request. No, no. no. Gee, uh, oh. All right, if I had to do it, I'd have to punch him in the back of the head or something afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, get the fuck out of a senior citizen. I yeah. wouldn't do that, and I wouldn't jack off a horse for anything. I would. Yeah, yeah. man. I would. Well, yeah, It'd be less than hundred million for my price for the horse. <laughs> yeah, a hundred million to lick the tip of a penis. Just that's, the, I mean, that's a lot of real. Money. You do that as a dare. Penis. It's a lot do, of money. Yeah, see, he's not a senior. He's ninety-two. He's not. He's all. He's worth ten billion dollars. All right, I would. No, I'm not I'd do it for the kitties. Do you know how much fucking cat food I could buy with a hundred right. million? Would you do it for hundred grand? <laughs> Well, it's a lot of cat food, too. Tax free. But, but so guys, you lick one knob, you're a cocksucker. Well, that's fine. You were a so, yeah. cocksucker. No, you're a knob licker. You're a knob licker. No, no. There's I'm a difference between a cocksucker and a knob licker. I'm Don't yes. even go there. 
All right, you're basically Cop sucker's sucking. a whole thing. You're basically yeah. sucking. That's a whole like different it. arrangement. Not 100 million. You got to have a writer. You have to have every, you know, specifics with that. But just go there and lick it. No. You might not even pick that his culture. Ah, what are you doing? That's fucking. He's getting excited about this. Well, what I, was in college, I think you do it for a lot less than a hundred million. Let me tell you this: How much? much? The last time I've done a lot less than a hundred million, for sure. I got okay. two kids. I want to get this in. <laughs> Let me tell you this: The last thing. This is what my best drug story. You know, we were eating mushrooms in college, and by there was they were set out, and my fucking roommate took my mushrooms and ate them, and I fucking hit him so hard in the stomach he puked. I took the mushrooms out of the puke, and then I ate them. Jesus. And that is a fact. His name was Tim Kurtz. Kevin Morton was standing right next to me. They know that's a fact. That's it's fucked up. So you hit him to I, make him puke up yes, the mushrooms? Yes, fucking so right. So you ate my mushrooms. You're basically saying if you can eat vomit and uh, mushrooms, you'll suck a cock. Plus, I worked in a beef packing plant for three years. I've done worse. Okay. Then lick and lick. Let me explain. Yeah. No, Tom, Just lick in the tip. I know. It's that's not a suck job. job. Yeah. It's a lick. I mean, if you that's want to, if you want to, that's up to I you. Think, no, 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 no. It's, uh, no. It's just lick. It's no different than lick in the back of his hand. No, it's, it's a, a lot different. different. Make sure that nobody in Hollywood sees this story because this it could no one's be career ending. Who's yeah. the biggest arsehole in Hollywood that you would say, you know what, that guy is a dick. dick. He's a dick. Well, uh, you know who it is. You got. Uh, uh, you know, they're, I, I feel sorry for all of them. They're all under a lot of pressure. You know, they're all under a lot of pressure. But I, but I think the people that are rude to waiters, uh, like I the guy, like the guy whose dick we're gonna suck, that guy. I see him be really I, rude I'm to waiters. I hate that okay, shit. Mean, you're looking, you're looking, no, you know, no, I, know. I hate I fucking like people, people that are rude. That are rude to no. waiters. And there's a little shit. game: dick or not dick. Arnold Schwarzenegger: dick or not dick. No. Hey, have, 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 what, does he have a dick? No. Is he a dickhead or is no? He he's not? nice. Sylvester Stallone: dick. Very nice. Dolph Lundgren. It seems nice. I don't know him as well, so I don't slide. Now that we've cleared up all the Steven people Seagal. you're attracted to. Steven Seagal. He, Steven Seagal is a fucking weird, weird dude. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 yeah. If you rewind yeah. this, you will see that he just named off four people yeah, whose was, penises he would let for $100 million. Dollars. Yeah. Seagal, he's clearly attracted to. He's got a lot on his here, mind. Man. He's got a lot on his mind. He's super fat. He colors his hair with a black Sharpie. He's under a lot of pressure. Well, he's got moves, though. He could take you down. No way. You. No way. No way. I'll tell you what. Jet Li is this Jet tall. Lee. His he's hands are that big, and he can kick all of our asses. Steven Seagal's wrists are that big. He's this big. No way. He he moves his leg up, and then a stunt guy does the rest of the fucking leg. I'm telling you, I'd take it. But I would he take used his to knees do his stuff, right? Years yeah, I think stuff? he probably did. Not. But he's not. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Dickhead or not dickhead? I, 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 you know what? He probably was, and then he was like, "Oh, that's not working." No, that was that, nice. He, he gets humbled. Okay. D J there's a, that movie, J John, it's J C V D E. Yeah. That I really like. I root for all those fucking dudes, man. And then Sly know. hires them to be in the Expendables. Sly's the best. Yeah. Arnold's the best. And tied with Sly, but fuck. I'd love to meet Arnold. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd yeah. be amazing. We do the Celebrity uh, Apprentice. He's hosting it. Have you met Donald Trump? I have. Is he all right? Dick or not dick? Yeah, in the back, in the old days, I, I, I did a comedy special at one of his casinos, and he was very nice, so I directed it. And then he asked me to do The Celebrity Apprentice, and I said no, because that's the worst thing ever. But now, you know, he's out of his mind. He's out of control now. He's out of control. He's fucking out of control. He's out of control. He is out of control. But I, I want to say yeah. something about your prime minister. He's Everybody's like, oh my God, he's so good looking. He's got to let, quit letting people punch him in the face because he's getting that that punch. He's a handsome guy, Trudeau, but he's getting that thicker face from being his. He's, he's being bought his boxing thing with his boxing coach, but he's taking too many hits. He's getting puffy in the face. That's just my, my. You know, that's the only thing I, I have to say about him. He's a good-looking dude, but you can tell when a guy's been hitting the face too much, it starts getting Walking swelled up. up. Yeah, he could be drinking a lot. Yeah, well, I'm sure yeah. both. Or he could be eating, he could be eating puffy pills too. Yep, those pills that make you puffy. Puffy pills? Puffy pills. Do those exist? No, no they don't no exist, Pops. Right was it you that were saying that back in college you used to like boys and girls? <laughs> me? Yeah. I wasn't in college. Yeah. Clearly it wasn't yeah. me, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you lost everybody when you said college. And, you know, <laughs> I wasn't ever in college, yeah. so it wasn't yeah. me clearly. You could, have been, you could have been in college. You could have did that thing. I got yeah. to gotta take a piss, boy, so. What? Yeah. Because I drank about nine beer today. I was thinking, what if... I mean, it wouldn't happen now, but if Chris Farley married someone that was the last name nearly, it'd be weird. Like and they how, hyphenated his last pick? name? Yeah. Like Jane Nearly Farley? <laughs> it'd be kind of funny. 
See, this is the kind of thing where Ricky's brain is. Yeah, like, why did that He's probably been thinking brain. about that since we talked about Farley 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Holy fuck. Nearly we, Farley. Yeah, we can edit this, right? No, no. I oh, don't edit shit. shit. No. All right. Well, we should edit something. Boys, yeah. let's go downstairs, I mean downstairs, and, and hit the streets. Yeah. Find some freaks, watch him lick a knob, do whatever. <laughs> Finger somebody in the He's ass. It's got to be a special knob, not just any knob. We could probably make some money doing this. I bet yeah. you would lick a knob for $1,000, Julian. Who? Huh? No, you. I'm not going to fucking... You give me $1,000 no, right no, now no, if you no, lick no. a knob. Well, I do have $1,000. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to lick okay, anything for $1,000. Just say it. the money. <laughs> it won't take much. Jesus. What the fuck? It's grand. American. Ask Ricky. He, well, he'll do it. Do what? I'm just Listen, lick if his... you can lick, if you got a hundred knobs lick them in a row, lined up, and you got a thousand for each one, all you do is go. <laughs> That'd be a great job. Every day you go in there, make a hundred grand, just really quick. You know, I used to fucking chisel heads at a meatpacking plant. I, I used to mean, bone. I would rather do that. If you're closing yeah. your eyes, it's no different than licking a fucking ice cream. Guy. No, no it's you're, not. you're licking units, okay? Yeah. And you're getting paid a lot of money. A hundred grand a day. You're basically, a porn they star. light up. You get a fucking, you get a, a team of people like these people. They set them up for you. You don't even come in there until they're all set up. <laughs> then you go down that line. You can do it probably just, two could minutes. Could they put you on a conveyor belt and you just keep your tongue out and they just? Oh my god, they would do that. They, they, they just get some wise guy that's gonna have a load ready just to fucking. There you go. Well, they just shoot a load back at him, man. No, that, that yeah. would not. Oh, okay, that would, okay. That if you were on a conveyor that. belt, you just had to stick your tongue out and they just. <laughs> that would be off the best like job at the meat packing plant. By the way, penis, penis dicks are corkscrews, and, they, and so. What are? Penis, penis, penises. I mean, uh, pig penises, pig dicks. They're pig corkscrews, dicks. so they're funky looking. So if they start fucking when you're, you get, it's harder to pull them off. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Fucked. They're so corkscrews, they get in that's there. That's like their tails. That's, that's their fucked curly. Up. Curly cocks. That's fucked up. Okay, on yeah. that note. Yeah. On that note. Yeah. Well, I know sure. a lot about animals. I also know what's inside their eyeballs if you cut them open. It's like this, it's Jesus. this clear kind of cool. It's cool. People suck. They eat eyeballs in some country. It's they eat everything. Listen, they eat everything. And probably pig cocks. Right. What's right. the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Well, that vomited up mushrooms. That's was, probably was up there on the yeah, list. Yeah, I mean, I eat everything at the meat but it's, People are like, how can you eat meat? You know what's in it? How can you eat sausage? You know what's in it? It's a, it's a fucking half. I cut a piece off and put it in my knife. I did cleaner. You had a boiling thing of water. You kept your cleaner your knife. I fucking cook it right there and eat right there. You know? That's fucked up. Yeah. You should be on one of those, those Survivor shows, man. I did that, Bear Grylls. Are you, you fucking did that? kidding me? He was on Bear Grylls. You fucking right, I did it. And he was like, trying to gross me out by eating fish head, uh, fish eyes. I was like, that doesn't gross You're me out. I won't eat anything. So you could gross him out. Yeah, I didn't like the heights. But, I, but as far as eating shit, would I was you like, Would you lick his unit for a thousand bucks? Not a thousand. But I bet there's a price. Okay. There, yeah. is, there is a price. No, there's a fucking price. You don't have a price there's at always all. A price Why are you so fascinated about him? I just can't, I just can't get over it, man. Like you're, it's, it's, it's been a lot today. Yeah. yeah. He just wants to know what the price is because he wants to be want get in on yeah. the action. Yeah. Okay, boys, let's go down on the strip. All right, get all fucked up. The Sunset yeah. Strip or wherever it's called. Cheers. Hollywood Cheers. Boulevard. Let's go Cheers. find a. I want to go find a pig and look at its penis now. Well, he'll fluff it up and get it hurt. I wish I had a. Uh, corkscrew penis. Corkscrew yeah. cock. Yeah, because you don't have to try so hard, because that does all the work. It'd be good. Because once you get locked in, man, you don't have to, like, think of other women. You can just focus. It's sitting there. It's sitting or there. Man. The work. Or, fucking, yeah. pissed or, or yourself. Or pissed whatever. off with Jeff Gordon. I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah. Lucky yeah. bastard. Yeah. All right. Ricky's uh, jealous. You know, about Jeff Cortland's cock. After That's it. <laughs> yeah. Horse. Cock. His cock and his horse. Wife. Cheers. The horse and his brother Pony. Well done, Jeff, you son of a pony. whore. Fuckers.